you guys and how are you guys doing welcome back to another talk with me and today we're gonna have a very important conversation which i think you have them throughout your life in school but when you reach a certain age it needs to be more in depth so that you understand the level of where you're at in terms of being or becoming an adult so let's get started so in this video i'll be highlighting what is it to respect your body and others next video i'll be highlighting why it's important and then we'll be going over body changes between boys and girls so i have a few key points here that i'm just these are just key points and i'm just brushing over these so what is it to respect your body and others body boundaries okay like you as a person have boundaries people have body boundaries you have body boundaries if you are at an age now where you do not have body boundaries i strongly advise that you establish body boundaries what that means is you are aware with what you are comfortable with and you are aware what you are not comfortable with boundaries are lines people should not cross that's what it ultimately means so when you say you have a body boundary what you are saying is there are things that you don't like done to you that will make you feel uncomfortable and there are people who have the same opinions or views as you you respect them and you respect your boundaries how you respect your boundaries not compromising them for somebody else's benefit you guys are growing up you're becoming older you are starting to understand the world and have a perspective and an opinion now you are at that age and with that being said you are also at an age where you can still be manipulated right having a body boundary and respecting yourself how they coexist is by saying i'm not comfortable with this and nothing anyone can do is going to make me comfortable with this so that's a boundary that's not going to change right that's you respecting your body boundary respecting somebody else's is not pushing them to push their boundaries meaning pushing them to push what they are not comfortable with talk about feelings from earliest years and feeling safe and unsafe i'm going to put these two together my reason for that is because when you encourage kids or yourself to communicate about how you feel, it'll be easier for you to understand why you, why you feel what you feel and how you feel what you feel. It's very difficult if you are not experienced in discussing or talking about your feelings to understand how you feel. Most people who don't communicate their feelings half of the time they themselves don't understand it. And when you start communicating about your feelings, it makes it easier for you to communicate about what you feel safe and unsafe. Remember, there are things as individuals that we when we start growing up and developing a personality and developing a character, there are things that we will be comfortable with and not comfortable with. There are things that we will feel safe with and things that we won't feel safe with. And being able to communicate your feelings will help you and progress you a lot faster into understanding those parts of yourself. Self introspection is so important because beyond just trying to see what you've done to somebody else to offend them, you need to see what you've done to yourself to prevent growth. Okay? So feeling safe or unsafe, if you are in a position where you're feeling that way, you need to learn to communicate it. You need to. Here's an, here's a task, right? For the next two days, test it out. If you're not a person who communicates your feelings, or even if you're a person who are, test this out. When you are in a situation where you feel safe, you say, "Friends, guys, I feel safe." This could be you chilling at lunch, um, waiting for transport. If you're in a situation where you feel unsafe, be like, "Guys, I'm feeling really unsafe now." Okay. Learn to communicate safe and unsafe feelings. Then I think it'll be easier for you to progress into your other feelings. All right. Next and our last point is our body is amazing. Feeling unsafe. So these are two different points. Our body is amazing in the sense that it has a brain of its own. Yes, we have one brain, but our body reacts differently to how our brain would to certain instances and situations. 
your body might enjoy a certain action but in your mind you are not comfortable with what is happening but your body is enjoying it for example if a boy touches your boob if you are going through puberty, you are hormonal. Your body will react to that by feeling stimulus. When you stimulate something, it's like you're encouraging it, you're motivating it. So when somebody touches your boob, your body reacts to stimulus, your body reacts to touch. But you, however, may not be comfortable with that. You need to get to a point where you're able to be like, okay, I understand my body, is comfortable with this but i am not what is important is how you feel not how your body reacts how you feel should always be first and top priority hence me saying feeling unsafe your body can feel great because he touched your boob or because she touched your penis but ultimately if in your head you're feeling unsafe it is unsafe period Okay, that is just the end of it. So remember, like I said, you're gonna get your at an age now where the communication between your brain and your body is a little bit different because you are going through puberty. You are becoming a young adult, a young woman, a young man. You need to be very aware and conscious of those changes happening in your body because not only is it physical, it is emotional as well. Awesome guys, thank you so much for listening to me on this little conversation about respecting your body and body boundaries. Remember, there can be multiple body boundaries. I don't like people touching me. I don't like people hugging me that I don't know. If I'm gonna hug somebody, I should be the first one leaning in for a hug and that's a body boundary. It doesn't always have to be sexual. That is my body boundary. You need to get to what you feel comfortable with and what you don't. And remember, I told you guys to do something where you start communicating feeling safe and unsafe just so that you can familiarize yourself with what actually makes you feel safe and what actually doesn't. See you guys again next time. Bye!